Thanks for coming back, Cal outside. I made a temporary tarp tent a couple videos back and uh, I got some feedback and I appreciate all the feedback. Uh, basically giving me recommendations on how to build it a little better, a little different. The thing about a temporary tarp tent, they are limitless. You could build them in so many different ways, but today I want to go over type two of a temporary tarp tent. One that has a roof over top of it, okay? So come along with me, always step one of building a temporary tarp tent is finding a good location. Let's go find one. About halfway done. What I'm doing this time, I'm building it so I have a little area I'm laying in. I'm also going to have a little roof. So this is about halfway. Check out the transformation. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about it. It's just me. Let's go ahead and talk about it. When you have a temporary tarp tent, you could judge it on many different scales, okay? You could judge it on looks, how neat it is. But the number one reason for a temporary tarp is just to sleep, stay out the element. So I want you to judge me on how effective this tarp is, okay? So, hey, keep that in mind. Warning, warning. All right, first of all, there you go. There you go. Hmm? There you go. All right, so, remember I said it's all about location. So what I did was I found me four trees in a square. Of course, it wasn't perfect. See that? That's one of them. Two. Sun going down. Sun. Three and four. So, again, that's how it looks. Now, let's go on in. This is where I'm sleeping at. And this is what it's all about. Look, I got a roof over my head. Okay? And just like any tarp, it's customizable. I could take my ends, my top, I could pull this down. So on a scale of one to 10, this is a 10. I just built a roof over my head. This is a 10. This is the main. Got my roof. Yes, it's not even, but are you judging me on looks or affectability? That's a 10. On affectability, that's a 10. On looks, six. Affectability, 10. So those of you who build temporary tarp tents, like I said earlier, sky's the limit. And I always recommend a big tarp. That way, you can fold it a little more. That way, if you don't have the exact perfect location as far as trees, that way you can stretch it out a little more or, or, or go further distances between trees. You know what I'm saying? But a small tent, temporary tarp tent, I believe you need trees and a more compact area. But, hey, look at that. Look at that, we're getting better. We are getting better. Don't judge me on looks. Hey, <laughs> we're getting better. All right, if you got any more suggestions on tarps, tarp tents, let me know. Sky's the limit. I'll catch y'all next time.